Recently, I came across a story about a woman who was killed by her toddler when the toddler found her gun and accidentally shot her. A young mother killed on a Zoom call after her child got a hold of a loaded handgun and shot her. It's what brought Romaine Gale out to Altamont Springs PD to get a gun lock for himself. Just in case my three-year-old tried to pick my weapon up when it's at home by the bed or anything. Police say the gun that was used to shoot and kill 21-year-old Shamaya Lynn was owned by her boyfriend. The gun wasn't properly secured, which helped it fall into the hands of a toddler. Stories like this have always bothered me because they're so incredibly preventable. However, keep in mind these types of events are rare. There are roughly 430 unintentional gun deaths every year with the rate being highest for ages 10 to 29. So technically it's even lower for kids because last I checked, 18 is considered an adult. That said, here are a few ways to keep your kids safe from guns in your home. Keep your guns in a quick access portable safe. As far as I know, Massachusetts is the only state that requires that all firearms be stored with a lock. However, the gun control lobby along with the anti-gun states like New York and California are constantly always trying to pass safe storage laws under the guise of child safety. I do not agree with laws that mandate you keep your guns locked up. And I did an entire video explaining why, which I'll put a link to somewhere in this video. There's no point in having a gun if you can't get to it quickly when you need it. There are a number of portable quick access safes that will make it incredibly easy to get to your gun quickly while also keeping them away from your kids. I have a few big safes where I keep all of my gun collection for general storage, but these are not quick access because I can't always keep these type of safes at arm's reach. However, I do have smaller safes like this vault -Tec Life Pod and vault -Tec VT10 series that are secure, quick access, and portable. I can literally place these safes anywhere in my home. I can get to my gun quickly by using either the number pads or fingerprint. The safe can even alert you when you're not around, but one of your kids are trying to get into it. If you travel with your gun and your kids are with you, that's when you can bring something like this life pod. It's light enough to put into your suitcase, but secure enough to keep whatever gun is in the safe out of the reach of your children. Long story short, you can keep your gun at arm's reach while still keeping it away from your kids. Shameless plug. I sell these exact safes and portable cases on my website, and I'll put a link to them in the description section of this video. Call me biased, but there isn't a better case or safe on the market, if you ask me. Two, take your kids shooting. Taking your kids shooting only really works with older kids. There is something to be said about teaching your kids about guns and taking them shooting that removes the natural curiosity most kids have about guns so that when they do come across one, it's nothing new. And thus, they have no real desire to do anything with the gun when they see one. Taking your kids shooting also gives them a personal experience with what a gun is capable of, and thus, they develop a healthy respect for how dangerous mishandling a gun can be. Three, teach your kids the four rules of gun safety as soon as realistically possible. Everyone should know the four rules of gun safety by heart. Even more so, every kid who can physically operate a gun should know the four rules of gun safety. You can Google it. Clearly, teaching the four rules of gun safety to a toddler is silly. Then again, some parents force their newborns to listen to Beethoven, hoping it makes them smarter. But to a child who is old enough to comprehend consequences, teaching them the four rules of gun safety is a must. Even if you don't have a gun in your home, say what you want about the NRA, but they have a great program called the Eddie Ego program that does a great job teaching kids not only the four rules of gun safety, but what they should do if they see a gun. Looks just like the ones on TV. And in my video. Stop. Don't touch. Run away. Tell a grown up. What's taught in this program honestly should be mandatory for all children. Four, buy a double action gun with a safety and keep the gun unchambered. <sighs> Look, if you're someone that absolutely refuses to lock your guns up in any way and your kids are too young to teach gun safety to, you should at bare minimum make sure that the guns that are out in the open have a heavy double action trigger with a safety and don't have a bullet in the chamber. If your kids are older, this won't work. But if your kids are younger with little to no real hand strength or working knowledge of guns, they likely won't know how to disengage the safety. And if they do happen to disengage the safety, they likely won't have the hand strength to rack the slide and or pull the heavy double action trigger. Personally, I'm not a fan of this option at all, but it is better than nothing. But I don't like it. Last but not least, do it all. 
Take your kids shooting. Teach them the four rules of gun safety. Make sure your guns have heavy double action triggers and keep them in a portable safe. In a perfect world, anytime a child got their hands on a gun when they're not supposed to, the gun would magically become inert. However, in the real world, our best weapons against accidental gun deaths involving children are education and or storing your firearms in such a way that they don't have access to them. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by and issued to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.